Hello everyone, welcome to Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. On Saturday and Perry's back. So we just got through using the Foreigner Magic sifting machine and re-sifted all this sand here. And he's mixing some up there. He doesn't like to use the mixer. But we're gonna I'm gonna help him today and we're gonna finish up this kitchen. And if we have some time then we'll do some work on the dirty kitchen. So my project at the moment is moving all these tables out, clearing them off and moving them all out while he's doing the rest of the prep out there. I need a break from the shovel anyway, so it's going to be a, a good chance for me to catch my breath. And Perry's moving right along here as usual. This is about what we've got done here in the last hour. A lot of this was moving stuff around so we could, a lot of that hour was moving things around so we could get in and, and get it on the wall. Of course there's going to be quite a bit of sanding on the window frames. We've got to get all that cement off of it, but even though we put a cover up there, it, it uh, still manages to get on the wood. But oh well, that's what sandpaper's for. Perry has pretty good technique. He can do it a lot faster than I can. So basically what I'm doing today is mixing cement and bringing it to him one bucket at a time. And I put it in his little tray there. That's a half of a square five gallon bucket. Just cut in half and at this tray for cement. Now this isn't technically what they call a smooth render. And it's still pretty porous. Now if you go back over this again, uh, some people just leave it like this and I'm probably one of those people and just paint over it. The paint will smooth it up a bit. But if you're not going to paint it, you come back over it with almost uh, pure cement. And it makes it uh, as smooth almost as tile. In fact, it does make it as smooth as tile. But it doesn't have a ceramic uh, coating on it, so it does get uh, a little dirty sometimes. And when you wash it, then the dirt just goes right into the pores of the cement. But if you paint it after you do the smooth rendering, uh, you really can't, you can't tell it from uh, tile. At least in my experience, you can't tell it from tile. And that's probably what we'll do here. Uh, it's up to the boss lady whether or not we're going to do a uh, smooth coat on top of this and paint it. Or if we're just going to paint it the way that it is. What I'm liking about this is that it, it seals up the wall a bit better. Uh, as you can see right there, you can see light coming through uh, that hole in the wall there. Uh, so that's a gap in the bricks. And there's another one above the door frame there. You can see it there. And probably if I took a, two, a few steps one way or another, you'd be able to see some more cracks. No, you actually can't in this section of the wall, but eh, there's often uh, cracks in it, and that just you know that just seals up the house that much better. So uh, keeping the boss lady happy and keeps me happy too. It keeps the keeps the spiders and critters out. Okay. 
Well, Perry and I managed to get it done today. We got everything moved back into place after Perry left. It's looking pretty good now. Uh, there's a, I, I saw this praying mantis about 10 minutes ago, and he's still there. It's only the second one I've seen here. I think the praying mantis is a pretty cool bug. We didn't get to this last uh, center column, this pillar here, because we just ran out of time and I was out of steam too. Perry worked me like a like a dog today. But it's looking good. We got it done mostly, except for this last little bit, and that'll be next time. I'm tuckered. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment. Share and subscribe.